Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another project video. I'm Noah for Adafruit. Halloween is right around the corner. Excuse me, I gotta go dress up real quick. If you guys haven't figured it out yet, I'm going as Fix-It Felix Jr. from the movie Wreck-It Ralph. So in this project, I wanna show you guys how I 3D printed the golden hammer and added sound effects using an Adafruit audio effects soundboard. This is a really great way to add sound effects to your cosplay props, so be sure to check out this tutorial. Follow along so you can add sound effects to your cosplay props. So, let's check it out. I can fix it. I mounted a push button to the side of the handle so that when I press it, I can fix it. it'll trigger audio samples. But the cool thing is that the sound effects will change each time I press the button. The Adafruit AudioFix soundboard is really easy to use because there's no programming required. You just connect it to your computer and drag and drop audio files just like a USB flash drive. I only needed a few parts to build this project, all of which can be found in the tutorial linked below. I made the hammer in Fusion 360 using components and shelled them out so that I can fit all the components and route the wires through the various pieces. I 3D printed the parts in gold PLA using the Sigma 3D printer from BCN3D. I actually used a 0.6mm nozzle to reduce the print time, so I was able to turn a 3 hour print into just an hour and a half. I also set the layer height to 0.3mm since there isn't much detail and that really helped speed up the print. So here's all the pieces, a total of 6. I didn't do any post processing or painting because the parts are already gold. So after the 3D printing was done, I started working on the electronics. On the back of the audio effects board are these two pads, which can be used for powering the circuit. So I cut up two pieces of wire and connected them to the ground and positive pads on the audio effects soundboard. A switched JST breakout will allow me to connect a LiPo battery directly to the circuit. I connected ground to ground and the positive to the SW pin. Then I could plug in the LiPo battery and test the connections. The little switch here will allow me to turn the circuit on and off. Next, I soldered up some more wires and connected those to the audio amplifier. Four of these connections will go from the amplifier to the Adafruit audio effects soundboard. Be sure to check out our guide on the Adafruit learning system for a full circuit diagram and step-by-step -step instructions. So after that, I can work on the push button and connect some wires to the leads. This one has a built-in LED, so I need a second pair of wires and a resistor. There were some wires already on the speaker, but they are too short, so I removed those and added some longer ones. Next, I installed the speaker into the cover of the hammer by pressing it down. It just snaps into place with the front side going in first. Then I threaded the wiring from the speaker through the head of the hammer. Made sure to pull the wiring all the way through and press the cover into the head to join them together. The base of the hammer has these two holes, so I inserted the wiring through the big one and out through the smaller one. Then I fitted the neck of the hammer into the bigger hole. Next I'll need to thread the wire through the rod and pull the wire all the way through. The tip of the rod actually has threading, so I can twist that into the base of the hammer until it's fully tight. Okay, now into the handle. Wire goes in through the top opening and out the other end. Again, pulling wires all the way through. Then we can insert the rod into the handle and press them together. After all that, I connected the wires from the speaker into the audio output of the amplifier, making sure the connect positive to positive and ground to ground. Next, I fitted the wires from the push button into the hole on the side of the handle. Then, I mounted the button by pressing it down until it's fully flush with the handle. This push button has a built-in LED, so I wired that into the JST breakout board. Then, I wired the push button to the Adafruit audio effects soundboard using pin number 0 and ground. But this could be any pin number, just make sure the audio file names match. Okay, now I can plug in the battery and test the circuit to see if everything works. If it does, the LED will light up and when I press the button, it'll trigger the audio samples. Remember, the little switch on the JST breakout will turn the whole circuit on and off. 
So once it's tested and all good, we can then start installing the components into the handle. So I carefully fitted the components inside and used some mounting tack to hold them in place. The little cap piece fits on the bottom and closes everything up. And that's it, there you have it. Now I have some sweet sound effects to go with my 3D printed prop. I also 3D printed the patches and buttons for the t-shirt. The patch on the hat came out really nice because I swapped out the color mid print to get these two colors. And the patches were printed in Ninja Flex filament. The costume for this cosplay was really easy to put together and pretty fun. So there you guys have it. That's how I 3D printed and added sound effects to my 3D printed golden hammer. So if you guys are looking for a way to add sound effects to your cosplay props, be sure to check out the tutorial. I wanna hear what you guys think. If you guys have any ideas, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. That's gonna be it. Have a safe and happy Halloween. If you excuse me, I gotta go fix a 3D printer.